Good evening, everyone. Last week, the girls' high school basketball regular season, a couple of games tonight, certainly had that state tournament fever, including in the Gawney, where the Miners were looking for the sweep over Marquette. Late third quarter, Marquette coach Ben Smith not thrilled to see his team trailing the Gawney again. The Gawney's Abby Nelson hits the baseline jumper, 45-36 Miners after three to the final eight minutes. Amber Hubner, Kelsey Grange off the window. Redettes trail by seven. Then Stasha Warchok inside the Avery Levy. She had two whole hoops in a row. 45-42 Nagani lead down to three. Then Amber Hubner, two Ellie hits. Yes, that one's good from the outside. Nagani still has the lead thanks to free throws. Then it's Clara Johnson, Mackenzie Karnke, Abby Nelson, Haley Pizzat for the layup. Miners back up five at 50 to 45. Amber Hubner made a basket but missed the three point opportunity, but Bridget Pliska made the put back on the second try. We're tied at 53 under 30 seconds to go. Skip ahead to Nagani's Madison Contio. Missed a free throw, then made a free throw with 11.9 seconds left. Nagani has a one, one point lead, timeout Redettes. Then it's Amber Hubner, Izzy Peterson, Kelsey Grange on the inside. Tick, 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 tick. Allie Jacobson denies the baseline. Back to Peterson. He, 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 the buzzer sounds, and the Gawney pulls off the victory 54 to 53. Nelson led the Miners with 14. Grange and Huber each had 14 for the Redettes. Also in girls high school basketball, Kingsford at Gladstone. Olivia Allen will drive to the hoop. Puts it in with the left hand very nicely. She had 11. Kingsford leads 64-54. We're in the fourth quarter. Zoe Spaulding inside. Alyssa Polly to Taylor Hunter for the hoop in the home. Gladstone within 64-57. Then Jacqueline Krieger loses the ball. Regains control. Nobody's guarding her. And it's still a free country. And she gets the members bounce. She had 17. Flivers up 10. And the Flivers go on to win this one 72 to 63. On the Braves senior night, Hannah Carlson had 21 for Kingsford. To the scoreboard. Escanaba defeats Menominee 47 38. Gwynn holds off Iron Mountain 33 27. Ishpeming sprints past Manistique 68 38. Norway loses its first game of the season. Freshman Maddie Koski had 28 points for the Patriots. 16 of 17 at the free throw line. 54-53 Westwood over the Knights. Wakefield Marinesco, 20 points from Alexa Jillick. Downs Waters meet 63-47 despite 41 points from Bethany Baldwin. Whew. Newberry, a big second half, 31-13. Margin to get past Engadine, 47 to 40. Detour easily over Mackinac City. Sault Ste. Marie turns back Alpina, 47 31, and was Pickford, 62, Rudyard, 27. On the boys' side, hey, Dawson Bilski's back for North Central. That means bad news for everybody else. He had 27. So did Jason Whitens, 83 33. Jets over Munising. Excuse me just a second. <coughs> Escanaba Downs Gwynn, 75-47. Norway over Stevenson, 88-69. Justin Ball, 34 for the Knights. Joey Starzinski, 24 for the Eagles. Devin Schmitz poured in 43. He goes over the 1,000-point mark for his career. Dollar Bay, the Blue Bolts over Hancock, 66-57. Connor Backus had 21 for Lakeland and Hubble, a four-point win over Houghton. George Boutvillas had 21 for the Gremlins. Chassel easily over Barriga. Antonagan turns back Lance, 52-38. Ewan Trout Creek, 30 points and 15 rebounds from Jake Witt. Eli Nordine with 24. Panthers over Watersmeet, 72-54. Rondell McKinney at 23 for the Nimrods. Bessmer, 59. Ironwood, 52. Garrett O'Neill had 21 for North Dickinson and needed every single one of them to get past Rob Public, Nishigami, 60-58. Rapid River 5, better than Big Bay to knock. Cedarville over St. Ignace, 80 to 51. High school hockey. Marquette, doesn't matter what the score is, Doug Darrell is always coaching. That is a guarantee. Taking on the Nagani Miners, and there's a rebound and a goal for Tanner Phillips at 2.03 of the second period. Give the Redmen a 4-0 lead. <coughs> Excuse me again. Nagani can't control the puck. And the next thing you know, Alec Gazinski puts in the goal. 
and Marquette leads 5-0. Regarding would score on a power play as Eric Bosco would convert on a rebound, but Marquette went on to win this one 7-1. The Upper Peninsula Swimming Coaches Association has announced its top athletes for the recently completed season. The Boys Swimmer of the Year is from the youngest team in the UP. Before I tell you the winner, a quick thanks goes to the many volunteers who helped make a UP final in any sport a special event. Gladstone's Matthew LeClaire earns the boys UP swimming honor. LeClaire won two individual events at the UP finals, the 200 individual medley and the 100 backstroke, which you see here. In the 100 back, LeClaire broke the UP record that he set last year. The new standard is 53.64 seconds. LeClaire was also part of the Braves' second place finish in the 400 freestyle relay and has helped his team to a third place result in the 200 medley. He's already going to continue his career at NMU. Rudyard senior Trista McDowell earns the votes to become the UP Girls Swimmer of the Year. McDowell won the 50 freestyle and the 100 backstroke. Plus, she helped the Bulldogs to a third place finish in the 400 freestyle relay. The future appears to be in good hands as Marquette freshman Taryn Aho and Sault Ste. Marie freshman Andrew Inner Ebner both won two events individually. It's usually tough to find an action shot of a coach of the year, uh, not this time. Eric Johnson of Houghton earned the honor as his girls won the meet on the last event, the 400 freestyle relay over Marquette, while his boys squad was the runner up to the Redmen. All the people named to the UP swimming and diving team are on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com.